We are live on location, guys. Salvation Army, Burley Heads here on the Gold Coast. Very excited to get stuck into the episode today. It's actually a Wednesday afternoon, a little bit different to how I'd normally feel my trip to the thrifts on a Thursday, but uh, it is also my birthday. And uh, I couldn't think of anything better to do than to uh, film a trip to the thrift episode with you guys. So one way you can wish me a happy birthday is to smash the like button down below. Uh, I've also got two free loyalty cards to use today as well, guys. So $40 worth of free inventory. Uh, stick around to the end of the episode. I'll show you what I was able to pick up with those two. $20 loyalty cards. Like I said, we're here. I'm ready to get stuck into it. Let's see what we can find. We are underway, guys. I jumped into the clothing section and found this State of Hip Hop exhibit t-shirt. Really cool. Actually reminded me of the TV show Pimp My Ride. No king. That's so hood rich. <laughs> also found another banger as well. This certified zombie killer t-shirt had a fruit the loom tag on it as well. Size large. It's not always about the comps. If you can find a t-shirt you just like the look of, like this one, I went ahead and grabbed this for eight bucks. We'll see what we can do with it. The other one as well was this a Billabong Cross Bob Marley t-shirt. Look, this one won't fetch too much on eBay, but I thought I'd pick it up again because I just simply like the look of it. Should be a fast mover on eBay. I'm gonna list it up for about $25, including free postage. We'll see how it goes. Also jumped into the DVDs and have a look at this. A four for a dollar. We had plenty to play with here. If I put a free screen on this one and let me know if I've missed any of the good DVDs in this bunch, but I did find a couple of uh, Nintendo Wii games actually as well. Wario Land. This one is an absolute ripper. It goes for about 40 bucks, so I'm very happy to find that. I don't come across too many video games in the thrift, so this is a very good start. Also found this Winter Games, uh, Mario and Sonic games, so there was definitely a bit happening. I also found out of the DVDs the Geordie Shore series. Now these are a couple of later seasons, but there is a bit of a bundle that I can make out of these, and that is typically always what I'm doing with my DVDs. So overall guys, not too bad of a first run. I saw there were a few comments uh, in the last video on Tuesday around the uh, little caterpillar that I've got hiding on the top lip here. I actually don't mind the uh, the motif. Uh, let me know in the comments below though, do you want me to continue to grow it? Because like I said, I don't mind having it. I'm generally clean shaven and uh, I do get a couple of comments every time I leave it there. So let me know, you guys have got to stare at this three times a week. Do you, uh, do you prefer to, me to have it or do you prefer me to get rid of it? And uh, I'll do whatever you guys recommend. Let's have a bit of a chat about these shoes because there was a number that I was able to find here. These Adidas Ultra Boost 4.0s, the comps anywhere between sort of $60 to $80 and here I am just paying the six bucks in the thrift. Found a brand that I really wanted to have a quick chat about as well. This one, uh, United Nude, as you can see there. Some incredible comps on eBay in both shoes and clothing for this brand. The $30 price tag on these shoes meant I didn't go ahead with it, but definitely a brand to be looking out for. Also this one here as well, the Adidas Sense Boost Go Men's Running Shoes. These are a pair of US 11, uh, a very, very clean pair of shoes, I must say. $12 price tag, I should be able to push about 60 bucks for these pretty comfortably. Um, had a pretty good run in the shoes. There was another pair that I wanted to quickly show you as well, and they were the Asics Onisuka Tiger uh, Running Shoes. So look, $8 price tag, some great comps on eBay, should be able to push about $50 to $60 for these. Definitely a make of shoe for you guys to be looking out for when you're in the thrift next and also found this book series now I'm not doing the books I speak heavily around the fact that I'm phasing out of my book sales however if you are doing books yourself look out for Nora Roberts if you don't know about her already some ripping comps on eBay the other one as well to help you guys out Emily Roder if you can find Emily Roder you'll do very very well but uh, we are shopping for myself today so let's keep moving on I found these DVDs uh, AFC Australian Fishing Championships 2009 series so I've got ahead and pick this one up a $3 investment and uh, a bit of a lucky dip draw with that one. You never know what you'll get for it. So we'll see how we go there. Also found the complete collection of Will and Grace. All eight seasons, 32 discs if you don't mind. I've paid the $10 for it and I do believe the comps on eBay were telling me anywhere between $40 to $50. So you can't say no to that. New day, same hat, different shirt. Guys, I had an absolute stinky yesterday. I went to five different op shops and I found absolutely nothing. So I've still got my Lifeline uh, loyalty card to get into, $40 worth of credit. So stick around because I will be using it today. Thursday morning, usual proceedings. Um, hopefully we can get back to the norm of finding great items. So I think we're up to round number three, op shop run number three. So let's dive back in, see what we can get. 
Remember how I said that I wasn't going to be doing any more book sales? Well, I've come across this book series and I've got nine books in total. They individually sell for about $25 a piece. They're the kids value edition books and a big bundle of 30 sold for $230. So I couldn't be saying no to those. Very happy with that little book pickup. One of only a few that I'm making. Uh, also found these ASICs Gel Kayano 25s. If you guys have watched this channel, you guys know I love these running shoes. Now, there's some comps there anywhere between 50 to 60 I personally believe I'll get a few more dollars than that. You wouldn't believe it. I've found myself a second pair of the Kayano 25s in another op shop as well. A $25 price tag on those. The first black pair was a $20 tag. So I did just buy the one of those in the end. Found the Hurricane 150 Sacconis that you're looking at here as well. There was some pretty good tread left in the sole. So for $15, I did pick those ones up. And then I also found another pair of shoes, the New Balance 860 V4. These are a really nice pair of shoes. If you can find the later models, the V10s, the V11s, they go on for a bit more money. The moment we have all been waiting for, the Lifeline Loyalty Card Redemption. 40 bucks to play with. The first item that I've seen here is this Canberra Raiders hat. And uh, this was a 25-year member hat, and I was loving every bit of it until I saw the $8 price tag. But this was the real winner of the op shop, guys. I've been able to find a stack of video games. I've been looking for these things forever. Can never find them. But finally, we've got a stack of really good ones here. The first really good game that I wanted to have a chat about is this one here. This is Sonic Rush. Now, the comps on eBay they were anywhere between sort of 35 average sort of a price point, um, a lot of them as well. So that one will go for a very good price. Uh, the Star Wars number three there that you're looking at, the Lego game, that one didn't comp too heavily, but Deadpool was a $30 game on the PlayStation 3. So a second really great grab. Call of Duty Black Ops 2, another $30 game. So we're doing really well here. There's actually quite a number of high price games. Call of Duty Ghost as well on the PlayStation 4. Good $30 comp on eBay for that one. This Dead Space 2, I almost considered grabbing it. Uh, it was a slightly high price point, but uh, the comps weren't massive on it. But some really good scores there with the video games. Had a look in the DVDs. Seinfeld Complete Series there for $30. Probably just a little bit too highly priced to make a profit. And I also found, again, for the third time today, are you kidding? The Asics Gel Keanu 23s, uh, these are a really nice pair of shoes, but the soles, unfortunately, after a, a long deliberation on these soles, the $20 price tag or $25 price tag wasn't going to do it for me with the wear on those soles, so I did leave those ones behind, unfortunately. I have taken these ones away with me, though, the Under Armour women's running shoes, just a plain white, really nice pair of shoes and an $8 price point. You can't be saying no to those. So in the end, guys, today, we've done pretty well. There's been a number of shoes purchased. Uh, the video games have been the real winner there and in this op shop run i've been able to use that 40 dollars free loyalty card as well so a really great little finish there the video games i just don't come across them too often you don't often see me thrifting video games and that's not because i'm not out there looking for them it's because i literally never come across them so to be able to find four in the thrift today uh, and to be able to redeem my 40 dollars loyalty card and not pay a cent for any of those games 120 dollars worth of value there plus the shoes as well should get me 50 so about 170 dollars worth of value for free out of that last thrift run to end the day. So all in all, it's been two days worth of work, but we finally got there for this uh, birthday episode. I do appreciate you tuning in and celebrating my birthday with me. Uh, your uh, viewership is a present in itself, but remember to smash the like button if you can as well. Um, thank you for being here, guys. I'm going to leave you with another trip to the thrift video to uh, keep that ball rolling. But uh, until next time, guys, we'll see you in the next vid.